I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm joined by Matt Kemp. We are here at Barnstable High School. Matt is the new Art and Applied Technology Department head, taking the place from Carl Lopes, who retired last June. It's very nice to be here again. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. So before we talk about your position here at the high school and your plans for this year and beyond, let's talk a little bit about your background, because you certainly grew up with both a little bit of teaching and art in your background. It's true. Yeah, um, my com Both my parents have been involved with the arts for many years. My dad is a potter, um, and he studied with Harry Hall, who I consider one of the, like, you know, one of the one of the standard bearers for art on Cape Cod and one of the godfathers of, you know, he's the godfather of pottery on Cape Cod. Um, so that, as a child, that was my background. I took classes with Harry and um, carried heavy things around for my dad and um, mixed up uh, big vats of glaze. That's, that's what I did for my, uh, my spending money. And then um, my mom was the education director at the Cape Cod Museum of Fine Arts. And she set up a lot of wonderful programs over the years there, um, including an art internship that is still going on today that I'm sending kids to from the high school Comes here. Full circle. Okay, yep, going into that program. So that's, um, that's really special and, and wonderful. And then um, she also set up an um, art educators um, group that connects all the different art educators and people interested in art education um, on the Cape as well. And I'm a part of that group. So. Um, one other thing that sort of connects what my parents do and what I do that I sort of left out, but I worked with my dad for 12 years full-time as a potter uh, before I started doing this, and now I work there. I probably get into the studio five hours a week or something, and then on the, on the breaks much more often. And you did, you also um, do illustration, did you tell me, or do something other than pottery? Yeah, that, that's sort of my... Uh, my little niche, I like making books and doing illustrations, so I've made um, a bunch of little books that I've sold out of the shop and in different places, and then some kids' books. So that's something I'm interested in, something I do. Excellent. And you've also taught in the area. Yes. Yep. Uh, um, over the years, you know, my wife and I have been, we moved back to the Cape maybe 12 or 13 years ago, a while ago now, and I think over the years of been at, um, let's see, I've been at Harwich High School, been at the Lighthouse Charter School um, as a visiting artist. That was a lot of fun. Um, I taught last year at, uh, at Nauset Middle School. Um, I feel like there's some other ones. Uh, but, and I taught at the museum as well, taught classes there. So I've been in, a, um, you know, had been fortunate to teach with a lot of great organizations. Great school systems. And you yourself being creative and then now coming into this role inspiring students just as you remember growing up as you shared with us. So um, this must be a, a new adventure for you here, certainly. It's definitely an adventure, for sure. Yeah, there's, um, it's an amazing, amazing place here at Barnstable and there's, um, there's just incredible opportunities for the kids that come through the doors here in terms of what we're offering for electives and what the art department has here for them. You, know, they, you can come through these doors and you can take a class in animation. You can, over a couple years, learn to animate your own short. You can take ceramics and you can work in a high fire kiln, which is a lot nicer than a lot of what professional potters are using. They also have raku kilns here. They have a connection with a wood fired kiln. So really high end, like a lot of colleges don't have access to a lot of those things. Um, the graphic design program here is phenomenal. The, the, the town flag, the town seal, um, came out of this department, was created here. And that tradition has continued with um, our graphic design teacher now, uh, Kristen Curtis, who's phenomenal. So you know, there's just a whole number of different options for kids. That it's just really exciting. I think. It is. It's amazing what's offered here. I always say I want to come back and take classes. Me too. I would love. <laughs> <laughs> I love observing. Yeah. Check them out. You get to have a good time being here. I also like where you say, as far as the town seal, and I know other projects. I think what's important for the students is there's so many community opportunities, so they really gain a sense of pride. They learn about themselves and self-expression, but also beyond the far, you know, the walls here. Well, I mean, my background in education really is outside. I mean, my, the, when I started as teaching art, it was outside of the schools. You know, it was in, uh, in my studio. We always had interns come in. It was in my uh, work with the museum where we had outside classes outside of school. And connecting with Carl, Carl Lopes, who ran the program beforehand, um, 
he always said that a huge chunk of the learning that the kids did was outside of school. And you could do so much in, within the classroom, but you really needed to connect that with the larger world. And so he created all these wonderful opportunities for the kids to do that. And um, you know, there's the, the art internship is, is one way to do that, but there's a whole host of other um, ways that kids can connect with the community. And we're always looking out for those. So let's talk a little bit about Carl. He was here for a very long time, and, and we say, and I'm sure you've heard it many times, there's big shoes to fill here no in doubt. this place. No doubt. So tell me about your plans for this year, about Carl and, and your work with him and the transition to now you being here and where you hope to take the program. Well, um, I mean, Carl's been in this community for a long time, and a, a lot of people, I think, know him um, and love him. Uh, but he was very generous with me. He gave me lots of time and um, is always open to communicate and you know just give me the background that I need to have to be successful in this position. And one of the main, you know, he gave me that that information about connecting with the community. But he also he just he sort of set a standard for what kind of work you want kids to be doing. If they're going to be successful, what should it look like? And he said, he and the other art teachers that have taught here have set a very high standard. Um, and so for me, coming in new this year, I feel like my job is to, to learn about that and to learn about um, how that standard was set and um, the different pieces that went into it. And then from there, I feel like there's, well, there's all sorts of different ways you can go, like in the future, but the world outside of schools is changing all the time and changing very quickly. And for us to prepare these kids that are going out there, I feel like them being able to be creative, being able to critique something that they see in front of them, break it down into its component parts and have an opinion about it and defend it, um, being able to understand craft and how is something well made, how is it well made, uh, being able to work together creatively in groups. You know, these are all things that they're going to have to do out there in the world, no matter how it changes and no matter what it looks like. So I, I get, I think, I don't know exactly what the specifics are, but that's the big overarching thing that we're going to try to do is prepare them to be successful. Absolutely, in whatever the field they pursue. Absolutely, they... yeah. And, and I think, like, for me, I have, I'm a potter. Um, that's, that's my main art form that I've worked in. And a lot of times you'll hear artists with a sort of a distinction between low art and, and high art. But for me, I don't really see a lot of distinctions between low art, high art, and just being a creative person in whatever field that you're doing and making those decisions and dealing with the materials, whatever they may be, in front of you. Very nice. Well, I thank you so much for your time today. I know that we will be back. I know that you already set dates for the student art show yep. uh, coming up in the spring at, We're the very excited. At, at the Geyer Barn. So we'll hopefully come back and uh, talk to you and the students about that and perhaps some other project as well. Thanks so much. Thank you. For Matt Kemp, I'm Melissa Chartrand, wishing you an artful day.